today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Thank you for joining us again this week. Last week we were looking at the power of words, heat-seeking missiles, and that there is such a thing as a law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that made us free from the law of sin and death. We are going to continue looking at words, tongue, and we're going to start this week by looking at James chapter 3, verse uh, James 3, starting with verse 2. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. If you do not offend in words, and it's how we offend other people, but there's also an offense to ourself, releasing the curse regarding um, the law of sin and death. We would release that with words. But we're considered a perfect man. It's not that we don't miss it, but our, in our spirit we're perfect, but as we renew our mind. And now it gives a parallel. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouths that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. It is showing the same thing between controlling a bit in the, the horse with the bit, turning it whichever way you want, and it says that it's a parallel and an example of what our tongue does. Verse 4, Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven by fierce winds, yet they are turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. So you can turn a ship with the rudder. Verse 5, Even so the tongue is a little member, now remember, it's a great big horse. You put a bit in its mouth, it's small. A big ship, the rudder's small. Your tongue is a little member, and it boasts great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindles. It's telling us here that whichever we speak, wherever our tongue goes, the words we speak, we found out, are things we meditated on, what we thought about. That tongue will set on fire your life. Heat-seeking missiles, words. What are you speaking today? What are you allowing to control your life today? Are you building your life on the foundation of God's word? Let's continue this tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Music.